Okay, let's talk about it. I lost weight. So, yes, I have lost a total of 40 pounds. Now, that did take over a year to really see some results. So let's talk about what I did, shall we? Okay, let's first talk about water. So, for the first couple of weeks, I was that crazy person that carried around a water bottle that was literally the size of my torso. And I'm not kidding. It's almost the size of my torso. So, this water bottle got me into the habit of drinking a lot of water during the day. Everyone thought I was crazy, and I am, so I, I don't blame you. Everyone was like, Elena, why are you carrying around a water bottle that looks like it's bigger than my head, y'all? Why are you carrying a water bottle around that's literally the size of an infant? It's literally like five pounds when it's full, by the way, because it's a gallon. <laughs> Look, I know I'm crazy, but if you want to get in the habit of drinking water, maybe you should get a new water bottle. Maybe not this excessive, but maybe you could get a different water bottle that's maybe like 64 ounces and not 128 ounces. It's excessive, let's be real, right? So, yes, first tip that I think helped me a lot and that could potentially help you is get your water in. This is your daily reminder. Go drink your water because, look, I'm drinking my water right now, so you got to do it too. <laughs> On to the next tip. Tip number two that actually got me seeing a lot of results was eating in a calorie deficit. I know people don't like counting their calories. Believe me, I didn't either. And I still don't because I'm still on this journey because it does not end. So eating in a calorie deficit is really going to help you see results from my perspective. I'm not licensed in anything, so take my advice with a grain of salt. The number one thing that made me see results, I think, is me eating in a calorie deficit. And how I did that was I used an app. Now, everyone always asks what app I use. I just looked up calorie counter and it's one with a green apple. Just use that one, it's free. I mean, why wouldn't you use it if you wanted to? I'm not forcing you to do anything, you do whatever you want. So you put in your current weight and then you put what goal weight you wanna be at. And then you could do like, oh, I wanna lose it one pound a week or whatever. And then it calculates how many calories you need to achieve your goal weight. And you eat just like that. That's what I did. So calorie deficit, maybe get a calorie counter. On to the next tip. Okay, let's talk more about food. So when I go to the grocery store, I tend to personally stay away from candy and stuff like that. I only get that like every now and then when I'm having friends over or something like that because I know if I have stuff in the house, I'ma eat it. So when I go to the store, I try to stay in like the outskirts mainly and I try to buy more meats, more uh, veggies, and some fruits, and honestly the best snack that I like and that helped me like quench when I wanted a snack is Skinny Pop, the butter kind, and it's really good. So if you want a snack, that's a healthy snack that you could implement in your diet if you wanted. Yeah, so if you try to stay more on the outside and try not to go in the aisles as much, that might help you a little bit because that helped me. And also, I just want to say, you do not have to cut out all your favorite food. Do you know how many times I ate ice cream last year? Probably too much. I never understand why people restrict themselves to not having anything that they love. Because then it's not, it's not a lifestyle change. You're just changing for a little bit because you're not going to be able to keep it up. I think everyone should have everything in moderation. And you can have whatever you want. It's just maybe have a little bit less of it and it will make it... A little bit more healthy, maybe a little healthier option. You don't have to take my advice, but I wouldn't cut out pasta. I wouldn't cut out chocolate. I wouldn't cut out whatever else people cut out because you could take everything in moderation. I think a big part of how I was able to like change my mindset is because I didn't restrict myself into, oh, Elena, you can't have that. Oh, you can't have this. No, I'm not doing that. I want to enjoy life and change my lifestyle without getting rid of everything I love. I love pasta and I'm gonna eat it. I'm just gonna eat 
maybe, you know, the calorie size, or if I'm having a cheat day, I might have a little bit more. But yeah, don't cut out all the foods that you love. On to the next tip. Now let's talk exercise. At first, I was doing home exercises. One, because, you know, quarantine things. And two, because they were easier for me and I didn't have to get a gym membership. Now, I would sometimes go to the gym at my apartment complex, but honestly, don't love it. So, stopped doing that and mainly just did home workouts. I did a lot of Chloe Ting workouts. I did a lot of, like, random videos that I would find on YouTube. I used to walk around the parking garage and would like walk three miles just up and down the parking garage, which was not fun. It was actually really hot because it was the summertime. And then me and Zach got gym memberships. Now I think truly getting the gym membership is what transformed my body, but also my mindset. So I'm gonna talk more about mindset in a minute, but just being able to go somewhere and have equipment available to me. Now, do I pay a lot of money? <laughs> kind of. I, I do pay like $26 every two weeks. So maybe you could get a, you could find a cheaper one if you want. But I will say that has really helped just like keep me motivated. I mainly did cardio first with a little bit of weights. Not sure if that's correct, but I'm just telling you what I did that worked for me. I thoroughly enjoy going to the gym now, like I love going, and I go like, what, four to five times a week, I would say. I heard this other YouTuber say one time, working out is like extra credit. And if you think about it, it is like extra credit, because if you work out more, you can eat more, which is really nice, because I like to eat. Going to the gym is important, but I think mainly just moving is more important than going to the gym. If you're able to walk even like a mile a day, you're doing great. Or if you're able to do an at-home workout that's like 10 minutes, you're doing great. Just keep up with the workouts, it's fine. You don't have to be like so hardcore, you just have to be consistent. On to the next tip. This is the single-handed most important advice that I am going to give you. You need to listen to me. I'm not that intelligent, but look, I swear this is good advice. The most important thing I'm going to tell you is you have to do it for yourself. You are not gonna do it if it's for someone else. Take it from me. First couple months of me doing this, I was doing it because I thought people were looking at me telling like their friends that I was the bigger girl or that I didn't look as good, that I let myself go. No one said this to me. I just thought it in my head because I'm crazy. Literally, if I would have done it for myself from the beginning, I would have done so much better. It would have been so much easier. Once I started doing it because I wanted to do it, not because I wanted to look like some girl that's unrealistic and photoshops her pictures, it really changed everything. And from then on, I was like excited to go to the gym rather than not. I was excited to eat well because I was doing it for me, doing it for myself. Let me tell you, doing it for yourself is way more rewarding because you achieve goals that you wanted for yourself. You didn't achieve a goal because you wanted to look like someone else. You achieved it because you had the mindset, you had the strive and the want to be better for yourself. I just wanted to be a more, healthy version of myself and I think I have achieved that. And I'm very happy with myself because I did it on my own. I didn't do it for someone else, I did it for me. Trust me, that's how you lose weight and keep it off. Just a mindset, the mindset is all of it. And also mindsets like, also has to do with you being able to get up and go to the gym in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever you go to the gym. I don't know when you go to the gym, I know your life. But yeah, having like the push from yourself because you're doing it for yourself to go is important because I, there were so many times I didn't want to go to the gym. You know how sore you get sometimes? It sucks. But I had the mindset that I need to do this for myself. I need to get there so I can improve myself for myself. How many times did I say myself? But yes, just trust me, have a good mindset. Have a good relationship with food. Try not to like restrict yourself in a way that leads to 
other things that are really damaging to your body, it's all fine. We're all beautiful. We just, sometimes you want to be a little healthier for yourself, which is fine. Like, I can't wait for the summer. I'm going to look so much better than I did a year ago. You implement some of this, I think it'll help you. But again, I'm not licensed. So, whatever you want to do, you do. Take my advice with a grain of salt. Just take my mindset advice because I think it's very good. So, those are just some of the goals that... No, they aren't goals, only not their tips. So, those are just some of the tips that really helped me change and transform over the year. I've gotten so many questions from like family and friends, so here's a little informative video for you if you want to watch it. But yeah, this is just some of the tips that helps me. I have a lot, I have some more, but I just wanted to give a couple. If you have the goal, the New Year's resolution of losing some weight, maybe this will help you a little bit. And I hope it does. I really do hope it helps someone that is trying to better themselves and be healthier. But yeah, I'm happy to sit here and help maybe at least one person and I'm just happy to share my story with y'all and what I did to lose the weight. Nothing too crazy. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for uh, watching this video. If you found it a little helpful, I'm happy. If you didn't, that's cool. You know, I'm just sharing a little bit of my journey and what I did. So yeah, thanks for watching and thanks to everyone that complimented me over in the year just gonna be vlogging throughout this year so if you want to stick around and watch more subscribe it's free like the video that's free too and i will see you guys next time